guys, good morning and welcome to another vlog. I feel like this is the weirdest angle to start the vlog from. I don't know why I did. <laughs> but hello, if you guys are new, my name is Catherine. I post lots of vlogs on this channel. I feel like this channel is slowly just becoming like all vlogs and I am totally okay with that because you guys seem to be loving all the vlog content. So if you guys are new, please make sure to subscribe. We are so close to 86K as of today when I am filming this video. We might have already hit it by the time this video is posted. So if so, thank you so much for our continuous growth and the family growth here. Love and appreciate you guys so much. Definitely make sure to leave a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. It's Tuesday morning right now. I just ended off another vlog earlier this morning. It's 9 a.m. I got an email. So my plan this morning was to sit and film an Amazon favorites for you guys. And then I got an email that the maintenance crew will be here between 10 and 12 today. I have an appointment at 1, so that's like perfect timing. So I don't want to start getting ready to film and then be filming and then have them like walk in in the middle of me filming and then I'm not able to finish filming. So I'm just going to work on filming that video tomorrow at this point. So my new video goes live in 30 minutes, so I'm going to sit and try to read a chapter or two of the book. This is the current book that I'm reading, Think and Grow Rich. It's really good. Um, I figure I'll continue to share with you guys the books that I read throughout the vlogs if you guys want to read them with me. But that is like what I have going on today. We've got maintenance coming by, so filming is now pushed to tomorrow, so I'm just going to film a vlog instead. and. That's also nice because I have some Amazon items arriving today that I want to share in that video anyways. So I will have like all of the things that I want to show, like to actual sh actually show in the video um, for tomorrow now. So that'll be perfect. And uh, later I'm going to head over to my friend's house. We've been talking about making dream boards for so long. She bought all of the supplies for it and stuff. So we are going to do that in this vlog and I will share with you guys how we make our dream boards been something that I have had on my to-do list for this year for quite some time and I'm excited we get to do that in today's vlog so that'll be really fun and uh, yeah I'll take you guys along with that I'm so excited my little plant baby is sprouting a new leaf she's so cute this is my beautiful birds of paradise I found her at the Dana Point nursery they have the best like well-kept plants at that nursery. Highly recommend checking it out. It's like a local family-owned one. And I bought this a few weeks ago now, like right before my apartment tour, literally the day of my apartment tour, I think I bought this. And it's already sprouting this new baby right here. This leaf is gonna be massive. It's gonna be so tall. Like it's still coming out of this. It's gonna be the biggest leaf on my birds of paradise. I'm so excited. I love it. All my little plant babies. And I'm still obsessed with this mirror. It's my fave. Okay, I actually want to get red eye, what? Ready, semi quick, because I can read while the maintenance crew is here fixing stuff, but I don't want to get ready while they're here fixing stuff. So I am going to probably just blow out my hair today with my Dyson. Um, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Also, can you guys see this line of self tan? I don't, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it makes me laugh every time I look at it. And uh, I have like self tan stuck in my hairline. I don't know how that even happened. I think that was from wearing a beanie right after I put self tan on my face. Like, big mistake. So, it's a cute look. All right, let's pull out the Dyson. So far, I have been loving this. I've only used it maybe five times now. And I've only had it since my neighbor flooded my laundry room. Uh, but so far, I haven't really reached for any of my other hot tools to like style my hair. I'm still trying to figure out how to like curl my hair with this properly. I feel like I'm only like semi getting it right. I might just use the straight one today because the waves that I did a few days ago definitely didn't stay. But I feel like just brushing it out and... Um, I don't feel like fully curling it today, just doing like a little mini style. So, we'll see how this turns out. Let me turn you guys the other way. Alright, I feel like that's about it. 
just so I can like give some style to my not really bangs but like my layers in the front just so they're not like awkwardly straight along with all of my other hair but yeah that's really all I'm gonna do for my hair today I need a little dry shampoo in it because it is like Thursday here today, I think. Now let's do a little bit of skincare real quick. I'm just gonna use some micellar water to wipe off my face this morning. And then I usually just go in with a vitamin C serum and some moisturizer and SPF. I keep it pretty simple for the morning time. Especially because I just really haven't been into wearing any like face foundation lately. I don't know. Ever since, <laughs> ever since we've had to wear masks, I just hate doing makeup because it just gets stuck in the mask, and I feel like, uh, yeah, I just don't feel like I have like a fresh face when I have to do um, makeup underneath a mask. So I think that's also been helping my skin whenever I'm like wearing a mask and not having makeup on underneath it as well. I am finishing off the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum Vitamin C. I love this stuff so much. It's like literally all gone at this point. There we go. Um, but it is pretty pricey. So for um, my vitamin C serum from now on, I ordered the um, vitamin C serum from The Ordinary. I use their other products as well and they work well for me so I just don't see the point of paying because <laughs> I've already gone through like three of these and these are like I swear like 70 80 bucks for vitamin C um, and the uh, other ones from the ordinary is like ten dollars so I don't know I just didn't see the point of like paying that much again for it so I was like, you know what, we're just going to go with the $10 one from The Ordinary. It'll work the exact same, so, yeah. Okay, next up, after I do that, I will go in with this. This is the Super Goop Matte Screen. I love this sunscreen. It is my favorite, especially if you have oily skin. I just cannot last all day with, like, other sunscreens because they just make my face so oily. And then I just feel like I need to shower all day. So this is my favorite. It definitely modifies you <laughs> quite a bit sometimes. Like definitely on my T-zone, I feel like it modifies perfectly, but like other parts of my face, I feel like it modifies just a little bit too much. So I always like to go in with my moisturizer on top and add a little bit of moisture back into my face and then for my moisturizer i've been using the summer fridays cloud dew this is their oil free cream i love this for the daytime feels so nice on my skin so i'll just put a little bit on spread it around i love it so nice again if you have <laughs> oily skin I feel like it's really nice and light and I never feel like weighed down when I wear this highly recommend checking it out it's also a massive container of uh, moisturizer so I feel like it'll last you quite some time use the excess on the back of my hands and then the only other thing that I really like to do for I guess makeup is filling up my brows it's probably like that's honestly the only thing I've really been doing like I feel like when I don't have anything on my face I don't feel as put together but the minute that I do my brows I suddenly feel like I like almost did my makeup I don't know I feel like the brows just like really complete the face I've decided that if there is one thing that I'm going to do every single day, if I don't want to do makeup, it is just to fill in my brows to make myself feel that much more put together. I just use the Anastasia Dip Brow stuff. I've literally been using this forever. This is probably my third container that I've gone through. I swear I've been using this 
for like at least five years. I love this stuff. I just follow the natural shape of my brows and give myself like a slight arch on my brows because I feel like my brows can be pretty flat naturally. Honestly, someday I would love to do like, uh, what is it, microblading your brows. I would love to get that done so I don't have to fill in my brows <laughs> anymore. That would be, that would be amazing. I'd feel put together every single day. Okay, brows are filled in. I feel like they're always sisters, not twins. That's just how life goes. <laughs> I don't think my brows have ever been twins in my life, and that's okay. Alright, and then to hold them in place, I just use the Anastasia Brow Gel. This is a hundred times better than boy brow, in my opinion. It holds them um, a lot better. It's my fave, and it's pretty affordable too. I just get like the well, I don't know if they have another size, but this is the small size that I always get, like in the Sephora checkout line. It's usually where I get mine. Okay. All right, maintenance just left. Thankfully, it's only like 11 o'clock right now. It didn't take that long. It only took an hour for him to go through and fix everything. Um, my window had to be fixed because the screen was popping off. It was really bad. I'm like, I could fall out the window if I like leaned too far. Uh, so that's finally fixed. There was a major crack in that wall. Got that fixed. And my kitchen sink. I think I feel like I told you guys about this the other day. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't remember now. But yeah, got all of those issues fixed. Um, I still have issues with my refrigerator, like, sealing properly. So he said to just ask for another maintenance request, I guess, at the end of this month. Because they're still waiting on all of their appliances to come in. Um, but he said he can fix the seal on it once they get all the parts. So just have to wait and hope for the best. He did say that if my fridge stops sealing, stops sealing properly, they will um, compensate me for all of the food that I paid for that I would like that I lose in the fridge. So that's nice. He also fixed my freezer, which I didn't know was even an issue. But there was always kind of like frost issues. So I thought it was just because it was really cold. But no, he fixed that too because he said something was wrong with that. So cool, everything is fixed now. That's awesome. Still have to wait on a few things, but most of the major problems that I was having <laughs> with this apartment are now fixed. So that is nice. We are going to sit here. I want to keep reading because I didn't even get maybe five, ten pages in. And we'll read a little bit more. And then I have an appointment at one. And then I'm going to go to my friends and we're going to do our little vision boards. I'm excited. That'll be fun. Quick little OOTD before I head out. I have on this long sleeve from Abercrombie & Fitch. These are like the Amazon tanks that everyone raves about. Um, and then I just have this bomber jacket from it's either Zara or H&M like years ago. My favorite Amazon leggings. And then my Nike not Nike. <laughs> what am I saying? I don't even own any Nike shoes. My Adidas Cloud Foam. They are quite dirty. I found a cute pair of white runners on Amazon and I thought they were going to be here today and I was like that would be cute with my fit because they're actually clean. I just need to wash these but yeah that's the fit. All right I have Bentley's show on for him. It's just like TV for dogs on YouTube and I'm gonna head out. last night and share with you guys the vision boards that we ended up making but I lost my camera in my bag uh, I just found it and I just got home from Trader Joe's so a little mini Trader Joe's haul for you guys and then I'll show you um, the vision board that we made 
Look at how freaking cute these are. Trader Joe's always has like the cutest little plants in like their little front walk-in. I thought this would be so cute for my windowsill because I'm starting to like place stuff on there since those windows are like always open. I love that I can put little, little baby plants in there. Okay, starting off the haul <laughs> with the good stuff. Uh, this is a new wine. I've never tried it, but it said uh, it was like a mix of creme, creme brulee or something and some other flavor or brulee and something. I forget what it was, but it looked good. I will try that during the week, next week. Um, and then this is my favorite, the Honeymoon Viognier wine. So good. And had to pick up some more rosé. This is another one of my favorites. This one. It's really good. They're all very affordable too. Okay. Now for food. I picked up two bags of my favorite pasta. You guys already know I love this stuff. We've got... Some eggs for breakfast, some cheese, got some raspberries, the other pasta, and then I got some lunch meat. I think I'm going to make little egg sandwiches this morning. So we have sliced rosemary ham. I haven't seen this before. It looks good. And then I got chicken breast for lunches and like cheese boards. Excuse me, sir. I tried this a while ago and I wasn't a fan, but that was like over a year ago, maybe even two. So I'm going to give it a try. Try it again and see. I don't know. It looks good. We'll try it. More of my favorite bacon. If you guys like bacon, but obviously it's not the best thing to eat for you all the time. You have to try this one from Trader Joe's. You honestly can't even taste the difference. It's that good. Some grapes. cheese for sandwiches and cheese boards. I saw this. It's a vegan mac. Sounds really good. This is the only like vegan product that I found that so far doesn't have anything that I'm allergic to. I feel like most of the uh, vegan stuff usually has like cashew cheese or something like some sort of nut cheese. So I'm intrigued to try this. Bentley's favorite treats. some salted peanut butter. I usually get the unsalted, but I don't know. I want it to be different this time. Try it out. More of these simpler um, peach wines. These are so good. Some apples. I got my usual oat milk for lattes. I also saw this. I will 100% be making myself another latte today. So this is, this looks new. It's their chocolate oat beverage. I'm excited to make some mocha lattes. And then my favorite kombucha. And that is about it for Trader Joe's haul. I'm gonna put all this away. So this is what we have for my vision board. If you guys are looking for some inspo, my friend just got like the hard uh, cardboard and then she got like some fun little washi tape for it. But I just wanted to put some things like this is like business stuff, um, obviously the YouTube plaque, the new bag that I want to get for my birthday this year, just some like quotes and stuff, envisioning the new apartment, the vibes traveling if that is safe again would love to travel somewhere tropical um i want to work on my style this year Thanks. gotta get fit this year <laughs> and uh maybe a future home someday but yeah just some cute things we just printed out photos from like pinterest and put them on the board there's a lot of space still so i'll probably add in some more quotes and stuff 
uh, maybe this weekend or something, but yeah, it's a cute little thing. I think I'm just gonna put it up against there to hide that for now. Um, but yeah, that way every morning when I walk out, it's like something that I see first thing when I walk outside. Hi, it'll be nice. Oh. <laughs> we are plant shopping now, headed into Dana Point Nursery. This is one of the ones that I told you guys about a ton. Uh, in my apartment tour. They have a lot of good plants here. It's a family owned business. So we're gonna see if we can find some cute plants for the apartment. Today has just been like a very wild long day. <laughs> Went out to the plant store, which you guys saw. I didn't end up finding anything. My friend found some cute plants for her house. Uh, I'm kind of bummed I didn't get anything, but I feel like every other time that I've gone with her, I always find good plants that I like and then she doesn't really find anything. So it was like the tables have turned today. I wanted to share with you guys some updates on my space, how it is looking, because I just did a little rearranging and I kind of love how it feels and how it looks now. So let me show you guys. So I moved the water tower and the trash can and I put the bar cart here, which I felt like makes sense having like the bar cart near the kitchen area to make drinks and such. Um, I feel like anything you put in this walkway is going to look a little awkward. So honestly, I don't know if I will keep it there, but for now it kind of makes sense. If I end up hating it, then I will just bring it back to my mom's and uh, or give it to my mom and she can have it. But I ended up moving that. I made space in there for the trash can, but honestly, I might just give this back to my mom as well and then bring my pantry back because I'm thinking I will just do my smaller trash bags like one recycle one trash under the sink excuse me that way I never have to worry about Bentley getting into it uh, hi and that way that frees up this because that took up so much space here moving in to the living room I hung up my vision board there I took down the print that was here I think I'm gonna do a shelf that kind of just hangs on this. I'm gonna see what I can find. Um, I might just see if I can find like a picture ledge or something from Ikea that'll just like kind of lay on it um, and sort of cover it and then just put some plants on top and let some vine down and totally cover it. As that comes together, I will let you guys know. And then coffee tables just kind of looking like this. We have coasters, selenite, a diffuser, my candle, candle accessories and then just some other coffee table books i like how that looks and then i ended up taking out the blanket um bin that i had here i just felt like it looked dirty all the time or just messy not dirty just messy since you could see into it and all the blankets didn't match so i'm using this as my little blanket thing now which also kind of hides that mess um toy bin still there that kind of stayed the same all of that is the same. Added a little bit to there. We have these jars here now, that little guy. I moved my desk over quite a bit and I don't know what I had here before. I'm gonna bring that down and center it on the wall. But I think I might actually keep this now because now I like how this looks right here. It gives me extra space and I can store all of my stuff in here. And then I moved to the water tower over here, which kind of just blends in really well. When you're looking at it from over here, like it's not like it's like a statement piece over there. It's kind of like hidden in the corner and it's actually pretty nice. And then this is the new plant that I got yesterday in the um, planter. These are both from Rogers Gardens. Super cute, a little display for my table, the center of my table now. I love it. Love how my desk looks. It looks so cute. There's a lot more space in between, so it feels more open there. This feels way more open, so now I don't feel like I need to get rid of that, and that hides well enough back in there, like in line with the console, that I feel like that is totally fine as well. Love how 
it looks now. It feels very open and spacious. And then this. And I absolutely love how airy and open this is. You guys would have seen in the vlog that's going live tomorrow, which is Thursday. You would have seen in Thursday's vlog that I was able to use this as like a big workout space and then use my mirror to make sure that like my form was good and everything. So I'm living for this. I do need to get some like a big king blanket or something just so I can like drape one solid color all the way across the couch. Um, I feel like it just looks messy with all these different kinds of blankets. So I'm going to see if I can find maybe like two twin blankets and do one here and one there. Uh, that might work better too, just so I can keep the couch cushions nicer. And that way if I ever spill anything on them, I just wash them. So yeah, things are coming together and I love it. I love it so much. Got all the vibes going in my apartment right now and I love it. Bentley's just over there playing with his tennis ball. I made myself a cup of tea. I have my chocolate croissants from Trader Joe's here to make in the morning tomorrow. I also forgot to mention I found this cute tray at Rogers Gardens as well and I thought it was the perfect little addition because I kept feeling like this corner was awkward and needed a tray. But I didn't want something super big, but this was literally like the perfect size and I love it. And then I can use it as like a cutting board, cheese board, all that kind of stuff whenever I need. So super cute. I'm making myself my, ooh, ow. Okay, now that my finger is fine. <laughs> ow, that really got me good. Um, I'm making some pasta. This is a really late dinner for me. I normally eat around five, but honestly I just kind of got like caught up in reorganizing my apartment and hanging with him and I love it my apartment feels so airy and open it makes me so happy I think this is definitely done now I don't usually like to go to bed on a full stomach but <laughs> it's just one of those Wednesdays so I'm going to have this for dinner, have my cup of tea. I'm probably gonna eat in bed and take some melatonin and just like wind down. Also that's Bentley guzzling water in the back. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, well, you can't even see him, it's so dark in here. He's been running back and forth with his two tennis balls all night. <laughs> He's so freaking cute, I love him. Good morning, guys, and uh, hi, Bentley. I am sitting at my computer right now, updating my Amazon page. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking for links to all of the stuff that I've been buying on Amazon. All of the links are now updated for stuff that I have bought in like the last few months that you guys have seen in vlogs. Even a sneak peek of a few items that I am excited to have arrived from Amazon. So if you guys want to check out the storefront, it is always linked in my description. It always just says Amazon storefront. You click the link and then I have everything divided by categories for you guys. I don't think I've ever really like talked about it or showed it. I'm always just like, yeah, it's my Amazon storefront. Let me show you guys. This is what it looks like, <laughs> I guess on my end when I am adding things to it, but we have my home and apartment. So I just added, these are the night lights that I just recently got. You guys have been asking for the Easter Island head, these planters, the mirror, the vacuum, the concrete tray, my new Nespresso, and the um, lanterns or candles that I got. And then I just added more to the fashion page. So these are some items I've already talked about. I'm excited about this. This arrives tomorrow. These are like the butt scrunch leggings that are infamous on TikTok, or I guess they are famous on TikTok. Um, these are like my favorite uh, white camel leggings. Coolest things ever. I love them. Um, and then 
kitchen items. I just updated this. So a lot of you guys ask where I get my cups. They're always linked on here. My bowl, um, my two espresso machines are linked on here. These are some like ice cube trays that I still need to go get that are downstairs. Um, and then these are the square cups, my tea that I drink all the time. And then we also have some of my other items that you guys see me using quite frequently. Those are on this page as well. Everything is kind of just divided. We've got some organizational items, um, some wellness. I get a lot of questions about how I keep my teeth white. This is like the exact toothpaste that I use, my sleep and stress supplements. Um, I need to add more of my tarot decks on here for you guys. I have one for Bentley for all of like my favorites for him. I have my fitness favorite, which is just these workout bands, my beauty items. I just tried to add the eye masks, but they weren't popping up properly, so I will work on adding those. Um, but these are like the beauty items that you guys have seen me use. I have all of my tech items. I get a lot of questions about the microphone that I use for my camera. This is the mic. This is the lens that I use. This is the leather thing that you guys see right here. Uh, my camera, my favorite lens, and ring light, laptop stand, all that kind of good stuff. So everything that you guys have ever asked for links for is going to be in here, and it's all just in one spot for you guys, so it makes it really easy to find. So this is linked down below because I know a lot of you guys have been asking for links. I am planning to do an Amazon favorites video very, very soon, um, so if you guys want to buy any of the items before I like put together a whole video about them they are now linked because I know I've been showing them throughout the vlogs but I want to do like a full sit down video and just share all of the items in like one video because um, I know not everyone can keep up with the vlogs and then we'll ask where things are from so that way it'll all be like referenced in one video or through my Amazon storefront. I made myself some coffee this morning I used the chocolate oat milk and it's so good it is not like a sweet chocolate milk. It's like a dark, not really bitter, but like a little bitter, like cacao milk, if you will. Um, it's more of like that vibe than like chocolate oat milk or like chocolate milk kind of like sweetness. Um, so I just do a splash of that and then my uh, Reese's creamer and then I top it off with regular oat milk and then my shot on top. And here we have it. So you guys, I feel like I've saved so much money i have saved basically the amount of the machines by now because i rarely ever go to starbucks anymore i was on a major starbucks kick like the beginning of the year because it just wasn't like into the machines that i had to make my own coffee at home i didn't find like a recipe that i liked and now i'm like i don't even want to go to starbucks like i love how good my coffee is at home so definitely recommend investing in a machine if you are a coffee lover like me this has saved me so much money and now i just i love my coffees at home versus going out to get a coffee i think these cups are linked on there too if not they are not i will add these cups because these are my favorite from when i just do a single shot of espresso because then i don't end up putting like too much milk too much creamer for just one single shot i think i'm gonna go ahead and end up the vlog here I need to edit this vlog for sunday for you guys or you guys might be seeing the amazon favorites on sunday i haven't decided yet i've got kind of a busy weekend um and rest of the week i mean it's thursday right now tomorrow i am driving up to santa barbara to pick up a bunch of inventory and um then i will be restocking the, f the store on either friday or saturday so definitely make sure you guys uh check that out because you guys will be seeing this probably the day after all the stuff goes live i guess i'll post this vlog um so you guys can like know that the store is restocked and then i'll post my amazon favorites video on like tuesday next week uh, but yeah definitely go check out the store the notebooks arrived today so i'm so excited those will be restocked today and i cannot wait um, as soon as they get here i'm just gonna stock them so always make sure you guys are following me on instagram if you want to have like the immediate updates of when items are back available on the store Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Bentley and I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all of your support. I feel like we are growing so quickly right now. I feel like we go through waves, but we are like back in another wave of like growing so quick. We literally just hit 86K yesterday and we are already just...
continuing towards 87k so thank you guys so much i love you guys you guys are amazing i always appreciate your love and support in the comments and just on every single video on all my social medias you guys are amazing and i seriously couldn't do this without you so thank you i will see you guys in my next vlog and uh get ready for some more fun content i'm excited i i just love the direction that this channel is going now so i hope you guys are too